Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose and today we're going to be talking about the Prairie Spring. Now, before I go into this uh, poem, um, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, The Prairie Spring by Willa Caver. Now, very, very um, interesting poem. Uh, lots of things are happening here. Basically, uh, Prairie Spring is Willa Caver, or the speaker here is talking about the, the prairie. And the prairie is vast. It's miles and miles of land. Uh, there, there's wheat that's planted and the weeds are there. And the speaker starts off the poem with describing the scenery to us. The speaker talks about the wheat uh, and the weeds and the land and the eternal sky and the, the horses that are toiling, the men that are toiling, you know, everybody's working. The speaker really describes the scenery to us in all of its um, movement, all of its, you know, essence. It's like, it's, it's a harsh, unforgiving landscape that, you know, a lot of work has to be done. The, the animals have to be worked. The men have to be worked. The land has to be worked. The ground has to be worked. Everything is working. And, and for me, while reading this poem, it's almost like the sky is in the work because the sky just has to keep being eternal. The sun is in the work. So because, I mean, you need the sun to farm. You need the sky to farm. You, know, you need rain. You need sunshine. You need warmth. Um, so when you think about farming, like this poem really makes you think because it's not just the men that are working, it's the animals, it's the men, it's the ground, it's the wheat, it's the weeds, it's the sky, it's the sun, it's the environment, it's the whole landscape that's, it's like an ecosystem of all the things moving and working together to produce food. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite extraordinary. Um, and then... The speaker here tells us about youth and um, the energy that the speaker has and how the speaker is thinking about the future uh, and what she potentially, um, now if this is Willa Caver speaking, if this is the speaker here, it's like she's telling us about, well, there's this harshness in the world, this hard work in the world, there's toil in the world, but at the, t the same time, there's youth, there's um, growing up, growing of age, there's potential and prosperity and making your mark on the world. Because then the speaker talks about youth and, you know, what potentially could happen in the future. Um, especially when you're young. When you're young, you're budding, you have energy, you have excitement, there's passion. There's things that are coming up in the horizon. You know, you have to make your mark on the world. So you have this side-by-side -side view of of toil and hardship and hard work and animals working in the landscape and also youth. I mean, youth is not focused on toil and hardship. Youth is mostly um, focused on endless possibilities. I mean, when you're young, you know, zero to 10, you're, you're stuck in an imaginary world. 10 to 20, you could probably think maybe you could become president or write the world's greatest novel or become a billionaire or when you're young and you're in your teens and 20s anything is possible you can become an athlete you can become an artist you can become a movie star you can become whatever you want you can become a farm i mean whatever is in your mind is possible when you have youth when you're young but by the time you get into your 30s you just start pretty much knocking things down what you can and can't do right the older you get the more you get you solidified in your thinking and what's possible and what's not and by the time you're like you know in your 50s you're you've already pretty much made up your mind of who you are what you're going to be and what your identity is right so we get these two this two side of you know the, the prairie spring it's there, there is a springing going on for both the land and the person, right? The speaker talks about youth, but it also talks about the youth of the land. The land, the prairie, every year, the prairie grows up, right? The, the, the ground gets 
tilled and um, you know the ground gets cultivated and you get a fresh new crop right you, you reap what you sow you know you, you know the farmer sows and he reaps um, a fresh new crop and the sun's involved and the animals are involved so everybody gets food uh, there's a potential for for food and the potential for what's to come so both the the ground and the landscape and the prairies there's this uh, time of dying in the time of youthfulness of prosperity of uh, you know things growing and food growing and hard work and and, and all of that in the same time with youth when you're young when you're young uh, there's youthfulness there's uh, the ability to achieve something greater than yourself the ability to do above and beyond your means and so this poem really conveys uh, different ideas about life, about what's possible, about things springing up both for the ground and the prairie and both within the speaker's life because uh, there's the springing of life. You know, when you're young, you're springing up, you're, you're, you're producing, you're uh, learning, you're thinking about what's possible and, and what's ahead. And... Um, and also for the ground, um, for the prairie, you know, every year there's a period of, of fruitfulness where you reap what you sow. So the whole poem does convey, the, you know, two different sides of life, of working hard, hardships, um, toiling, cultivating, and also, uh, you know, fruitfulness and, you know, um, seeking the things of the world that were making your mark on every season or making your mark on on the world so the speaker definitely talks about youth the speaker talks about toils the speaker talks about hardship the speaker talks about the eternal um things of life in terms of deeper meaning here in terms of analysis here this poem is conveying a lot of things uh but um it's definitely giving you um in terms of the things that it's conveying it's giving you a look um, at the prairie, uh, the institutional side, the 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 fact you know the factory aspect of the prairie. I mean, when you run a farm, it's all about business. You have to be timely. You have to get up early. You have to till the ground. The horses, the men, the sky, the sun, the land. Everything has to be hard at work for you to produce a good crop. Even the weeds. I mean, when you plant wheat. You're gonna get weeds, and so even the the, the, the negative aspects of, of life are part of this, um, you know, reality. Um, so when it comes to youth, I mean, in many ways, the prairie spring, the prairies are like when you're young. When you're young, you're budding, you're growing, you're becoming something um, higher. There's going to be hardship. There's going to be toiling. There's going to be cultivating. And there's going to be wheat and weeds in your life. There's going to be hardships um, and times, you know, there's going to be times where if there's, when you have to go through the weeds and you have to pull the weeds and there's going to be time when you're going to get the wheat, right? Um, you reap what you sow. And so the poem conveys all of these things um, and it leaves you in a sense of, well, kind of like hopefulness and joy because it's good to be young. It's good to dream. It's good to think about the future when you're young. Because when you're young, all things are possible. Um, you know, many things are possible. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, that's something to keep in mind. So that's the poem. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.